there was a quote, uh, I don't know who said it of you, but this, we started to talk about success and not music. It was time to protect ourselves and focus on music again for the recording of this album. I think it's the other people that talked about success, not us. Not you. No, I think you could feel that when we went back in the studio, it had to be a selfish moment. You know, it had to be a, not to please the most amount of people, but to please the four of us. And then eventually, if the four of us like it, someone else would like it, whether it's in France, Holland, Turkey, yeah. what? Was it, was it easy to get more selfish again, to just focus on the music and on yourself? Uh, sel to be selfish is very easy for us. <laughs> it's very, very easy, unfortunately. I think it's something we learned growing up in Versailles. Yeah. You know, we grew up in a city where it was hard to relate to a lot of things. And it's not even that we wanted to, not to please everyone, it's that we wanted to please no one. You know, we wanted to disturb the quiet peace of the city. It's a museum, it's not even a city. It's, a, it's like growing up in a museum. You can't make sound, you can disturb the... So I think for us, every, it was this... That was the, the first interest in music. And then eventually, I think we, we developed... I'm hoping we developed some skills of production, of songwriting. And we really got into it and we wanted to satisfy us, you know, we wanted to make good albums eventually. Yeah. Was, it, was it for you too the same feeling growing up in Versailles? Yes. Yeah? Yes, exactly. Because it's, for us, for me, as a foreigner, it's a beautiful... Yeah, it's beautiful, as he told, but it's, uh, there's, no, there's just one bar, no venues, uh, just one record shop. So it's kind of, uh, in terms of culture, it's very, it's empty. Yeah. It's, uh, the culture uh, was uh, in the past, you know, yeah. with the kings and everything, but uh, it's a city that still lives in that era, you know. Yeah. But we bless it because uh, we, thanks to this city, we had nothing to do apart from, apart from music, you know. So, Music was not just not a hobby, it was very important since we've been uh, kids. What was the first music that you made together? Can you still, is it, is it something that uh, sounds like the music you make today or was it totally different? The music, uh, we, we, we uh, from the beginning, when we were, even when we began, uh, around when we were 14, we were writing songs. It was pretty weak songs. Okay. Not very solid, but uh, it was very uh, natural and important, and important for us. Yeah. We want, we are fascinated by the idea of creating something, creating the creation. Yeah. So we learned very slowly music, and uh, we discovered all the music together. Uh, yeah. And how and how and how did you discover the music, pre-internet wise? How did you discover it? The music, there was one, um, I, I was lucky that I had a older brother that had good musical tastes. Yeah. And Chris had one too, who's in the band now, Bronco. So when we first met the two of us, we, that's the first thing we talked about. It was what we were listening to through our older brothers. But how did they get to um, I think they were just curious, you know, they would, my brother went, spent a year in Seattle, and he came back with lots of good records. And uh, do you his, do you have an example of one album that he? What album? Uh, everything. I mean, uh, he was older. He's nine years older than me, so I was a little kid when he brought them back. But he brought back Purple Rain. He brought back some awkward, like Zig Zig Sputnik, some very far out records. Yeah. And to discover them in Versailles, I think, was really a psychedelic experience. Yeah. You know, Prince in Versailles is uh, 
it's like the aliens are coming, you know, it's something, it says, it's a close encounter of the, of the third kind. Yeah. Is it for you, you were saying you started writing songs, um, but it's, were you trying to copy maybe Prince or... No, I think right from the beginning we wanted to... Stealing was okay, copying was not, you know. Stealing, there's a noble art in stealing, you know. Like the people that rob a bank, they have some sort of craziness that could be elegant. You, you know, you can still do it with elegance. You can still, uh, when you steal from something that's really far from you, it's almost like you, you don't copy because you interpret everything. I guess that's what you call inspiration, you know, there's not really, uh, nothing really exists, it's always a, re it's always a, you know, a constant transformation, you always re rearrange, reinterpret yeah. things. But copying was the enemy for sure, right from the beginning, it was, uh, you know, when you're a teenager, you have an identity crisis, yeah. and uh, it's very important that you find your own uh, voice, I guess. And what song, what was the first song that, uh, when you found your voice, the first song you wrote yourself? We, we've been to many phases. It took us uh, around 10 years to release the first album. So that was, the first album was the, the first The album. voice, yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. First album, yeah. Before the songs, there were sketches of we were not ready. We knew it. 